Uh, someone's asked for a listen on a tune called called Haranda Haraenda Stefanomata. So Stefanomata is a wedding. So um, Hara means joy. So weddings are joyful, I suppose it means. Um, it's also called Achpaston in in Greek as well. Um, the instrument's tuned to A E B. That's A E uh, E. second finger touching the high pitched chord now you can play the instrument with the bow just touching the high pitched chord or if you touch the two chords the high pitched in the middle it's fine now we're, here we're going to because we want to get to the fourth finger the note of the fourth finger um, but because there's, there's, we're going to come even further down, we're going to prepare, we're going to slide down now, which prepares us to come down further. So coming forward, we're going to slide these two fingers down together to get where your fourth finger would have been. So now you can either do that visually, so your fourth finger is about just past that point here where the neck meets the body. Um, so you can visualize it, watch it. Or you can just listen to the sound as it's sliding and stop when you get to the note that you're um, you're looking for. Okay, and then we're going to do. Lift the second on the backward bow movement. And then coming forward, we're going to drop the fourth finger. So now we've got the first finger and the fourth finger down. And then we're going to drop the second again. And now on the way back, we're going to slide up and the second finger is going to go where it was the normal position. So... second finger here and here it's very critical where, you, where you, your second finger goes because obviously we've been moving from up to bottom so you just got to make sure you quickly adjust if you go too far up you got to quickly adjust that so second time we do it, we're going to do it from here. Okay. So here it's before we can slide down, but after finishing just that bit there, we're going to do that bit again. We've got to know exactly where it's going to go. So this is all about memory, um, where your fingers are. And you can remember where your fingers are by the, the palm here, where it touches this curve of the instrument. You can remember where to where to stop, so you get that. Um, you, you'll know how it, how it, where where it touches here, 
you sort of have a memory there, so you know you're obviously not coming too too far here, but you're starting. This sort of this is sort of a break, a breaking system. Okay, so. down straight away the fourth and the second finger are down now just touching those the high high chord that's all the time you've got so 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 from the start us into the next bit finishing forward so the next bit is finishing forward we can start back on the high pitch side with no fingers then we're going to swivel over and we're going to drop the second finger touching the two chords the low pitched and the middle and we're going to swivel back over to the high pitch so get that right high pitch side Swivel over, and sw drop the second finger, and then sw swivel back over and play the high pitched again with no fingers. So here we're going to go, uh, drop the first finger. First finger, second finger, keeping the first down, dropping the second, and then lifting the second, keeping the first down, and then no fingers. Finishing back. Starting back. Bit, I've forgotten. So it's then back over to the low pitch side and then we're going to go touch these fingers are touching two chords the low pitch side chord here but we're going to go straight over to the low pitch side so it's now here we're going to go we're going to lift the finger not where the f first finger usually go usually goes but it's even higher so i guess this, you can call this a I, I, i'm not musically trained so i think it's just a half a a, a, a different note uh, so Okay, you can notice the difference. Okay, I'm actually lifting this a little bit higher than the first time I dropped it. Okay, so it's... Double chords and only touching the, the first finger.
Okay, so finishing back. <laughs> halfway through a tune come back and then come back again or finish forward and then lift the bow and come forward again it helps you with transitions um, I'll try and keep this as basic as possible so there is a, a, a lifting of the bow here So bring it back and come forward again. So all these, I'm, as you notice, I'm finishing forward and starting forward. So I'll start from the start. So please leave a comment. <clears throat> um, I've got in the description of all the videos, I've got uh, other little lessons where I trembling, jumping, uh, and slurs. So slurring is when you play two notes with one bow movement. So please read the description. Thanks for watching.